what's up everyone welcome back to the channel if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button so right now i'm about to get back into the linda brown story last time we left off was episode seven so all right so we got episode seven gone missing the kids got kidnapped while uh while the characters were distracted What do you mean the kids are missing? Did they leave a note? Any clue? No, nothing. We don't know where they could be. You blame yourself for not having been there. You blame Drazio. Hmm. I mean, he was left with watching them. Drazio, you promised you'd take care of them. That's the only reason why I went to Jiganda. I know, I'm so sorry. I left him alone just for five minutes. I never thought they would disappear. They must have been kidnapped. This is awful. Yeah, the bodyguard of Bruno is behind this. Because he's working with, o with Osapo as well. What are we going to do? We have to get back to the favela. Stop playing a hero, Rodrigo. You've already been through enough. Is the only way. That is the only place where we can solve this thing. Do you think you're up for it? You're still recovering. I'm fine, really. Okay, but I should probably join you. No, you'll stay here in the case the kids come back. I'm taking Drowsy with me. Me? Have you lost your mind? Please, Drowsy, we need you. Okay, I'll do it. That look didn't leave me much choice. Great, you keep me posted, and don't make anything crazy. Wow, I can't just give up. Maybe technology can help us. Linda Brown. What's this supposed to be like, uh, Instagram? <laughs> Social networks maybe work for something else besides finding old school friends. Eight hundred fifty-seven followers following five forty-one. I'm sure someone must have seen the kids. Even though I don't know their names. A picture is worth a thousand words. Would this text be enough? Let's keep our fingers crossed. Hello? Hey, Linda. Bruno. Why did you leave in such a hurry? Did something happen? The kids, they're gone. How is that possible? We don't know, we think they've been kidnapped. That's it. I'm sending all of my guys to find them. Well, your guys are in on it, so it shouldn't be hard. Thanks. You've been very supportive for me, even though we barely know each other. Well, we can fix that, too. Would you come to Jaganda? We'll solve this together. And there's something important I need to go over with you. Fine. I'll be there tomorrow. I'll be waiting. Bye. I want you to take care of everything, Russell Brand. Yes, boss, you can count on it. I'll take care of it right away. Waiting for your new prey. 
please don't start again. We've been through this already. I can just tell when you're in hunting mode. I see through you. Don't forget that. But don't worry, your secret is safe with me. What secret, huh? That he likes Linda? Must be something else going on there. Oh, sir, this is too hard for me. My skin is not prepared for this kind of immunity. It's just a walk, Jaziel. Maybe we should split up. We can cover more ground and have a better chance of finding something. I wouldn't separate from you in a million years. I've told you that already. Why don't we come again some other day with Ronaldo? I'm never afraid when he holds my hand. <laughs> come on, Jaziel. Don't be a chicken. Cock a doodle doo. <laughs> oh, shit. We have to get to the bottom of this. It's the second day in a row I'm going to Jinganda. I must be careful about what I wear. What's the best outfit to go? Jean outfit. Jeans and leather jacket is fine. I don't want to upset Johanna by looking better than her. Fuck her. Let's see what, what other options we got. Okay. Showing a little... A little peak. These pants make my legs look beautiful. And the shirt is functional and attractive at the same time. Although maybe should I dare a little more? Well, I probably ain't gonna have enough crystals for the other one, but let's see. Sexy lady back. That, that looks trash. Nah, I'm just gonna go with option number one. The jean outfit. Yeah, that look, that look cool. <laughs> she said, Bruno not gonna think I'm trying to seduce him. You can't always stand out, Linda. I'm sorry I'm late. I don't think I can concentrate right now. I'm still thinking about the kids. I like your simple look. You didn't want to attract attention because you're a big star now. Linda, don't mind Johanna. She rolls her eyes. I wish I could wear jeans and a leather jacket all day. Linda, we have something to tell you. We want to offer you a contract to be a part of Jen Gada. A contract? I thought we already discussed this. That's right. We would offer her a contract to sign with Jen Gada if we liked her. And we like her a lot. We do? She's she's uh, threatened. Johanna, Linda will be the next act at Jen Gada. We'll see about that. So, we want to know your answer. What do you say? See what I meant? I would love to. You closed the deal. Do you really want me to sign up? All right, should I say, do you really want to sign me up? Since the very first time I saw you. I am flattered and I still can't believe it. Dante will come soon with the paperwork. You will see it's a great deal. I've always read contracts with my former manager. I want to take some time before I sign anything. Take all the time you need. Uh, you see the disgust on her face? 
Johanna being a hater on the low. Hold on, this place looks familiar. I think we are closer now. Oh, I'm scared. We have to go back. Calm down, Giorgio. We are not done yet. At least give me something to drink. I'm dying here. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I think I see a place over there. Let's go and sit. I guess we could probably get you a smoothie. Well, it may not be like the places I'm used to, but okay. He act just like, uh... You see, they spying on him. Oh, shit. Oh, Sapo. Wow. So the restaurant is called Osapo, and that's the name of the people. That, that's crazy. This is too much. So what is our next step? It's time to enter Thor into the equation. Yep, I knew it. So you got those two, and then you got the bodyguards on the inside working an angle as well. This is kind of crazy. I'll give this uh, a three. So the comeback of Linda Brown's career, I'm assuming. Helicopter. Lands. It's crazy all this stuff is going on while uh, Cynthia is out on her honeymoon. I can't believe you're joining Jengada. I hope this won't affect our relationship. Thanks for everything, I mean it. I have a lot to think about after today. What if I asked you out? Would you also need some time to think it over? Or we could imagine that we are already on a date. In that case, this date is missing something. A special moment. Y'all, yo, y'all, day for day tripping. 50 diamonds. <laughs> y'all is tripping. The helicopter ride was amazing. What? Are you saying goodbye already? You're not going to invite me in for coffee. A pilot needs his caffeine. All right, come in. He is a shark. That juice really hit the spot. Shall we keep digging for answers? What are you two doing here? I know you. I'm Thor, Bruno's assistant. <clears throat> we met at your sister's wedding. So, what are you doing here? Why are you so interested? You are in a dangerous place, believe me. I know, I'm very familiar with the favela. For everyone's sake, I suggest you let me handle things. Thor just might be right. The closest I've been to danger was dressing up as a flower for carnival. All right, if you say so. You guys go on. I will report any news to Mr. Bruno. Jazio, check out the name of this bar. Hidden in plain sight. Osapo. Yes, that's odd. It's an awful name for a snack bar. It's not that, Jazio. The kids, when we met them, they kept mentioning Osapo. Do you think they were talking about this place? I always thought Osapo was a person, not a place. Me too. But the kids weren't very clear.
So they're they're running some type of some type of uh crime syndicate out of that restaurant. Grinning ear to ear. Linda. They back. And Bruno, what a surprise. Cynthia Milton. Welcome back. Just in time to celebrate. I offer Linda a contract to be a part of Jengada. Awesome, Linda. It's always nice to come home to good news. Especially when they launch your favorite roommate's career. So Milton and Cynthia. Good to see you, Bruno. Same here. Come on, let's catch up. Clearly, there's something going on between you two. I want to know everything down to the smallest detail. I enjoy his company, although it may be a little too soon. <laughs> Come on, Linda, it's not a trip to Mars. It's just, I'm not ready for a serious commitment. I didn't see Linda as the Jingada type. She has a different vibe. She's very talented. I mean, it this time, Milton. I'm going to make her a star. Milton, Bruno. What are you two going on about? Remember, your new wife's here. I'm sorry, dear. We can't help but talk shop. <laughs> So Bruno has a thing for going after women, I'm guessing. So he's like some type of womanizer, I guess. Wandering around here again, bro. You know they can't see us together. Don't make me come down here then. Don't even think about messing with Rodrigo or the kids. Since when do you care about those people? I'm responsible for them. I don't want any trouble. I can't even recognize you anymore. Believe me. You don't want to piss off Osapo. So Osapo is a person. I told you Thor seems unfamiliar. Or should I say seem familiar? I think they are twins. We have to call Renato. Shh. Let's get out of here, Jazio. Oh boy, it's getting interesting now. They've been calling the act of, of socializing with one another. Everything was amazing. We went, we even went uh, bungee, bungee jumping, bungee, bungee jumping. And by we, I mean just me. Milton is scared of heights. Well, no one's perfect. Oh. Rodrigo, Cynthia, Milton, I forgot you were coming home today. Rodrigo, Drazio, are the kids all right? Kids, I'm not following. We saw Thor at the favela. He seemed to know everyone. Yes, I sent him to investigate. He looked like he was giving orders more than investigating. Linda, could I have a private word with you? Rodrigo, I think he can wait. Stay, have a drink. Linda, it's really important. Why would they do that? We don't have a choice. If you saw something, just say it. I think it's probably nothing. Welcome back, Cynthia Milton. 
Why not have a choice? They want to make every situation overly priced. I'll let you catch up. Anyone need anything from the kitchen? Like fifty dollars, fifty diamonds for a kiss, thirty-five for him to tell her what he saw. Like, come on, bruh. Linda, clearing your mind. You could say that. There's a limousine waiting for you. Bruno sent it to take you to Jengada. He says it is important. Linda. Bruno, what happened? We have some information about the kids. Thor. The kids are back at the favela. They are all right. Did you see them? Excuse me, Linda. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll wait. As all as I was saying, I spoke to a cop I know that works there. What did he say? They had stolen something from a bar called Osapo. They were running from the police. They didn't look like thieves to me. Something's not right, don't you think? I trust my sources, miss. The kids are back home. So now it turns out that the children have been stealing. Don't lie to me, Thor. Something here is strange. Rodrigo, what happened? Linda, I really need to talk to you about something very important. I'm in Jengada right now, Rodrigo. I can't talk. Jengada? Then you need to listen to me. You might be in danger, Linda. In danger? What are you talking about? I have relevant information on the kid's case, and it's related to Bruno. Ridiculous. This is making me mad. I don't want to hear unfounded suspicion. The kids are now back home, and that's all that matters. But, Linda, don't insist, Rodrigo. I need to hang up. This is annoying. Like every decision, they want you to pay diamonds for. Is that all? Do you need to talk about anything else? Why? Can't spend a minute away from your new star. Johanna. So when will we see each other again? Not tonight. Do you have plans with her? Johanna, that's enough. I knew something was going on. They were sleeping together on a low. And when Linda was introduced, she became threatened, and that's why she didn't like her. This isn't over. You're going to pay, Linda. Yep, I knew something was going on. Bruno is the mastermind behind everything that's going on. And when we questioned him about his childhood, when he said, um, my parents weren't rich, but... Well, you know, he said, my parents weren't poor, but I wasn't rich either. Everything I got, I got on my own. And it was like dot, dot, dot after that. So I'm thinking on the low, he runs some type of criminal enterprise. Because it seems like he has a command of what's going on throughout the town. So, but we'll see what happens. I'll give this a four. Alrighty then. So that's going to do it for this gameplay. When we pick back up, we will be starting episode 9, The Suspects. But until then, I appreciate you all for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And until the next video, peace.